hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel hey welcome where in the world have you been my name is victoria and um, i'm basically living and um, sharing my life for you guys on here so if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe to the channel join the family click on the red button to subscribe turn off the note on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you and to my returning subscribers thank you guys for always coming back thank you so much i appreciate you guys so today in today's video i'll be talking about my first surgery my experience my first surgery experience yeah <laughs> so without further ado let's jump right into this video so guys if you're not new to my channel you would have seen my video on um when i was admitted to the hospital if you are yet to watch it please go and watch it okay so you understand everything i'm saying in this video so like i said in the video in that video i have been having this pain in my upper tummy i've been having it for years so when i came to uae and the pain continued like consistently so i had to visit the hospital to know what actually is happening actually i thought it was ulcer so i usually take ulcer drugs to make the pain go away so but unfortunately when i got to uae and i got to the hospital i did um ultrasound like the first day i came they took my blood samples like they took me for x-ray they took me for ultrasound it was after the ultrasound test that i was diagnosed of um gallstone right yeah what is gallstone let's read gallstones are solid particles that form bile cholesterol and bilirubin in the gallbladder so i have to go through series of tests to know how bad the condition is so i did ultrasound i did x-ray i did the ct test i did mri stool test name the test your girl did it so but after all this surgery and um, all these um tests were done i was told that the solution was surgery but I was like mm, i don't want to go for surgery you know so but at the end of the day that was the decision because the pain keeps coming back and coming back and i kept going back to the hospital and the doctor was like girl you have to go for surgery okay so i was like okay what is it going to take to do the surgery what um is the procedure how much am i going to pay and like that and guys i was just told that my insurance i don't need to pay that my insurance covered the surgery that i'm gonna do it for free with my insurance i was like yeah come on why not why not do it that make me feel better huh but yes that's one thing i forgot to say in my video that i did i think the last video i did on things i love about abu dhabi i forgot to add about health sector their health sector is really nice they are oh my god oh my god if you are with insurance card like you spend less affordable 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 i don't know if this is also applicable to wherever you are wherever you're watching me from like the residents get affordable health like they pay less when it deals with their health like i don't know if it's like that in your area but yeah I didn't pay a dime for my surgery. I didn't pay for a dime for my um, drugs. I didn't pay anything. My insurance 
covered every damn payment like i was so happy that your girl don't have to spend excess to be all right you know so i just said i'll put that out to you guys so i'm going to link the video of things i love about abu dhabi go watch it okay and i'm also going to link the admission video also in the description box so you go watch it too okay let's continue our story okay so after all the test was done then i was um scheduled for a surgery and everything all those procedures signing and everything and i did it and my surgery was um they i was given a date for my surgery and that was last week tuesday today is um sunday that i'm making this video um sunday 13th i'm making this video and i did my surgery last week thursday i was saying that i can't remember the date but today is 13th that i'm making this video so yeah i did my surgery man the experience was <laughs> gosh so i was admitted all this hospital dress and everything they put the cannula in my hands and everything so i was taken to the operation room and um when we got to the operation room i was obviously sedated like i did not know i was obviously sedated so i don't know what went in or went on in that operation room the only thing i knew is they were just trying to pass i think that's the anesthesia they were trying to pass my brain and i was like i wanted to complain that this thing is painful and you'll get blanked out <laughs> so it was like after the surgery i woke up and i was like i like i a cry from my sleep that i was having pain and they were like come down we will, we will give you a pain reliever you'll be okay but i was not like fully conscious but i knew someone was talking to me so after saying that i made that sound again and they were like i should not worry that they've already given me the pain reliever that i'll be fine and they took me out of the theater room then back to the admission room so i was there like for hours i slept for hours before i could regain my um self i will insert pictures of when i was visiting i would insert pictures of when i visited the hospital and when i came for the surgery and every other picture i think i don't know if i'll insert it in between or at the end of this video. i think probably add it at the end of this video right okay so then after regaining myself like i was in serious pain surgery is not a joke like i could not lie down and I was told I need to lie down, like facing up, like it was so difficult. I was like, "You guys, I can't." <laughs> you were like, "You have to. If not, you have a headache. You get money. I cannot. Eh? You guys want to kill me?" But those nurses were really nice and everything. So I think after the second, and guys, I was fucking hungry. No, sorry for using this. I was so hungry, like hungry and thirsty because I did not, like for 24 hours straight, I did not eat, I did not take water. I was asking several, can I take water now? Can I take water now? Oh my god, the experience is out of this world. Like I'm imagining those people that give birth to CS, how they are feeling. I know this was just a tip of the iceberg, like seriously. Oh gosh, I don't know, I don't know. But like the next day, the dietitian came that I should not eat food from any food they bring from outside. I, I was being fed. But your girl asked a bush there that you people all know me too. I'm not good at trying new food, so I could not eat their food. I just told to my friend, I, I beg, buy food for me. This sweet food, your girl can't eat it. <laughs> I'm bad like that. I like I'm a very picky eater like that. What to do? This is what it is. So then I think the third day or the same day the surgeon came and was explaining everything that happened in the surgery room that 
um, my bladder was inflamed and everything but the surgery was successful that everything is done that I'm fine now and everything so they were just giving me drips giving me everything bad goes bad goes and I think I I was there for five days and after five days I was discharged then uh, what else I will insert videos and pictures of everything that was it. Uh, uh, that <laughs> every um, pictures and video that I was um, able to video or snap, I'll show you guys at the end of this video. So then, after admission, I went home. And I think on Thursday, yes, this that um, um three days ago, yeah. I they removed the thread from the stitches, so your girl is fine now. I'm okay. This is like one week and um, three days after, and your girl is fine. I'm out here. I'm actually at the park all alone. So I said, let me make this video for you guys. Okay. <laughs> so I think that's pretty much about it. Let me show you guys um, these scars now. This is one. This is two. I don't know. You guys can see. This is um three. This one is already going already, and this is four. So the um view is already healing, and I'm fine. I'm doing well. I'm okay. I'm like back to normal activities. Yeah. So. Guys, tell me about your surgery experience. What is it like? As in, mine was... I, I thank God that surgery was successful and everything, but the experience is not nice. Let me know in the comment section your surgery experience, guys. So, guys, I have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like this video, comment, share this video, okay and subscribe subscribe okay subscribe <laughs> so guys thank you guys for watching i really appreciate you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye guys